This plaque in Trafalgar Square marks the very centre of London. So at this moment in time, I'm truly in the heart of the city. Now it's earned this title too because this spot is packed with history. Originally this was the site of Charing Cross and the Memorial Cross of Eleanor of Castile, the wife of Edward Longshanks. But this was torn down in 1647 on the orders of the parliamentarians who saw it as a royalist symbol. The one you see standing outside Charing Cross today is a Victorian replica. Now all that marks this site today is this equestrian statue of Charles I. And this story is really fascinating. Here we have the king wearing armour with a scarf tied across his chest. He's holding a baton in his right hand and the reins of the horse in his left. Now this statue was commissioned in 1630 and probably cast in 1633. But when the Civil War came about, John Rivet, the owner, was instructed by Parliament to break down the statue, this great symbol of royalism. But Rivet wouldn't do it. Instead, he hid the statue and produced some broken pieces of brass as evidence. He even made a good business selling thimbles, knives and trinkets, which he pretended had come from the melted down statue. Now, the statue survived the Civil War and the Interregnum, so during the Restoration, Rivet sold the statue back to Charles II, who was to install it here with his father Charles I looking forever towards the Houses of Parliament. But before the statue was installed, Charles II instructed a number of the regicides to be executed on this exact spot. Samuel Pepys witnessed one of the executions and recorded in his diary, I went out to Charing Cross to see Major General Harrison hanged, drawn and quartered, which was done there. He looking as cheerful as any man could do in that condition.